All right, what's well, uh, Resmer the Stigmorta? I'm guessing this is possibly an HV here. Yeah, there we go. HV time, guys. Look at this thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, that is, that is interesting. Whoa. Dude, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like organic or something. It looks like some kind of like morphed uh, alien thing. I don't know how to explain it. It sounds, you know what I'm talking about though? Like it looks organic. It doesn't look like machine. Oh, that is sick looking, dude. crystalline yeah yeah just the bubbling though it looks like i don't know it looks like maybe it was a machine and then like some alien like venom type thing like took it over and like it's morphed it into some half organic like crazy alien thing ah that's cool man super original let's look at this turret placement here yeah i got some Gee, oh, I like how he's got the Gatlings kind of concealed here. Over spec on the Gatlings, but that's all right. I didn't set any uh, limit. Yeah, by the way, guys, I, I really didn't set a limit, so you guys could have gone over. <laughs> how did you realize that? Yeah, okay, let's, load, let's go in the back here. Put some stuff in it. Put some juices in it here. Yeah, that's nice. Oh wow, same thing inside, just yeah. Very interesting. Bridges, Pentax, construct areas. Stand behind the white marking on door for drone deployment. When turning off thrusters, make sure you also turn off the hover engines or the creature might try to run away from you. Don't worry, you will eventually get used to the smell. <laughs> All right, so it definitely is a creature. It's definitely some, you know, this is a organic being that you're actually uh, piloting and stuff. That's cool. Main cockpit access hatch, nice. So you can access the, uh, the upper... Uh, upper cockpit check oh is okay is this the same guy I saw this guy in the workshop so he had this CV that yeah yeah I know what you're talking about and it was like a whole no that was cool yeah, yeah I remember that CV so this okay that makes sense Oh, very cool. Yeah, I thought that was super original too. The infested, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, definitely check out that CV, man. That CV is freaking cool as hell. I don't even know why I did the HV. You don't even need that one. All right, let's do our thing here. Turrets. We're gonna get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. So it seems like reloading one of each group of these is, is doing the job. Oh. high praise from crazy z i think they're talking yeah. about the infested he yeah. said yeah one of the yeah. most innovative designs i've ever seen yeah i mean i didn't even get a chance to spawn it in yet to look at it but just looking at the pictures oh my god like just just amazing just yeah 
Just the look of it is freaking awesome. And we didn't regenerate. Damn it. Let's go back. <laughs> Take two. It's interesting how long this thing is, too. It's definitely not your average HV shaping. They get locked on the, the turret yeah. on, isn't it? That is a lot of firepower. <laughs> Kind of moves how you expect an HV to move. Yeah. I think he's got the RCS and that balance just right to give yep. you the, the, the right kind of feel for it. Still turns where you want it to turn, but there's just that little bit of slide like you get with the hovercraft. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, the shape of it, the look of it, like, it's just pl really pleasing. Like, it's really cool. It's just, yeah, super unique. I mean, the, the role play you could do with this, like, it's almost like, I don't know, I, I guess if the Xerax had HVs, like, I could see this as being a Xerax HV or something. It's just, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. Or even, like, the alien, alien planet or something. Yeah, this is, this is really unique, like. Elyon should do something with these things. These could be really cool, like, patrol vehicles and stuff for in-game. Ah, just, just that. Like, that alone right there just looks so freaking cool. And then, like, you can see the skill in, you know, the non-alien looking stuff to where it really sells it. It looks like it's been overtaken by it. Ah, it's so cool. Definitely check that out. Check out that CV, guys, the Infested. But this is the Stigmorta, and this is by Resner. Give him a like. Give him a follow on his workshop so you can see what else he comes up with. Great work, man. Well, I wrote a summary for that one. I could see his name in chat, uh, or rather I did when I used an app to, to get hold of him. But he didn't reply when I asked if he was around, so hopefully he is what. Yeah, for those of you new to the stream, in our Discord, Jet Set is uh, basically uh, taking summary of what we're discussing in the stream so that when people aren't able to see the stream right away, they're able to get that feedback from the uh, from the community right away on their build. So that's really, really, really helpful. All right, so now we're going to start getting into some more unknown builders. Um, so, you know, I would definitely ask that you guys... Uh, be a little light in your opinions of some of these designers because you know they just really don't have the same experience that a lot of what we've seen so far so our first uh designer here is uh he goes by the name of uh Kra am i pronouncing this right now crazy crazies crazies i don't know let's see what he's got here this is the uh pcv exaggerator What does it look like? I've got the screen covered. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been looking at this thing on the workshop all freaking week, dude. Just salivate, salivating a little bit. Like, ah, oh, this looks so freaking cool. And yeah, it looks really freaking cool, man. This is none other than Crazy Z. And yeah, just just better and better, dude. You're just getting better and better, and it's like, I you know I, I remember talking to you when you had the uh, the the princess out and, and how unique you know your your 
inner stuff was and stuff like that. But, you know, the outer and the shaping, you know, you, you were, you know, you were still experimenting and stuff and you had cool concepts, but it didn't always work, you know, fluidly. But, you know, now that you've started making more complex and uh, not more complex, but more compact and more uh, usable builds, like the creativity is just getting better and better. Because I feel like if you just have this huge canvas to do whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about performance, you don't have to worry about cost or use, you could do whatever you want, right? So you got pool tables, you got really cool LCDs, you got these things, but then the freedom of being able to do whatever you want, it actually makes you less uh, capable of, you know, pulling off interesting stuff like this. But when you have limits and you really have to expand yourself all the way through these limits, to me, it just it just makes you fine tune stuff even more. And yeah, it just comes across looking really cool. So, I mean, you look at how small this thing is, but just look at all the details. Um, look, look at what he's done with the uh, the thrusters here with the wings and everything and you know I, I assume this has a shield so you know that's gonna be that's gonna be okay he's uh, again he's opted for the cockpit I'm not in love with but it looks really cool on here and actually it's making me kind of like this cockpit like I really like the look of that he's got the rib thing going back here he's got the really cool use of deco what's cool with SVs is you could just go nuts with deco you don't have to worry about turrets so you could just have at it with the deco and it just comes across really nice i mean look at that that's just yeah it looks sweet with those curves and everything going with the thrusters looks like something out of aliens yeah yeah it's really cool let's put some put some juice in there oh he's got the lighting look at that yeah he's got the flashy ladies sweet god I, yeah i'm excited i'm excited to build like a new switchblade and just go nuts because like yeah if you don't have to worry about like armor like that i mean you could really make something really unique like this and just yeah i like that you can go under it it's tall enough ah he's got the little bed see he doesn't, he doesn't mess around here Two, so you can choose which side you want to sleep on. Yeah, you got the fridge, the O2, oxygen station, armor locker there. Oh, hang on. There's two passenger seats. <laughs> Maybe you have to bunk up together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, did, did you really put a freaking bathroom in here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's got the little, uh, the little urinal there. Nice. Freaking, look at that, dude. Ah. Freaking one man chess. Nice. <laughs> Performance mode. Drone hatch open. Nice. You got access to the cockpit here. You've got your ammo here. Let's go ahead and throw in some ammo. Oh, we can't. Oh, we'll get it when we get up there. Yeah. Ah. Oh wow, it's tall wow, enough to where you can just access it. Yeah, that's cool. Doomed razzing Jay Randall about having a door on the toilet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it just looks rich, man. You look at that, you against the wood and then the metal. Now he didn't do his normal all white thing, which I think this looks really cool though. I really like this with the wood grain and the uh, the chrome kind of thing. I like that he's giving you options to manually add the uh, pentaxid and fuel. Um, just a lot of care given to uh, to gameplay here. It's very nice. That's a great feature with the, the the glass covering the equipment in the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. With the warp drive and oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Top in this bed. God, like I, I almost wanted the wings to like, you know, to expand more. Like that's how I felt just now. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That would be cool. Elion, please fix. Oh, dude, if they gave us pistons, ah. Oh. Look 
Ah, I like it. Ah. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I'm feeling this first person here. <laughs> nice, yeah. Oh, that is cool. And, but look at that, like even if you just like third person, like that just looks awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, the the complexity uh, the complexity of the jet thrusters and how they look, just the blocks alone just add so much to these builds when they leave them exposed like that. But, you know, you're giving me this whole kind of subtle X-wing vibe, but it's like a different, you know, it's just different. In that front and yeah, it's just great work, man. And performance for days. I feel like we gotta do some barrel rolls here, right? That was nearly an Immerman turn. And nearly a what? Immerman turn. Uh, yeah. You go down into a barrel roll and you roll during it so you come out the right way up at the top. Oh, gotcha. Immerman was a German uh, fighter race during the First World War. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's one. Immerman. Oh, I'm trash. I ran out of mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, this thing moves though. But I, I was really liking the first person actually. I don't normally do first person, but this just felt right. Yeah, it does with that cockpit. And you can still see the flashies in it as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Birds. What happened? I said remind you to uh, buy a bigger mouse pad. I'll get there. Yeah, when we get the keyboard. I think I'll get one of those that goes all the way across the table. <laughs> That'll work. Oh man, yeah, I I love this thing. This is beautiful. This is uh, yeah, this is one of those subs that you just never unsub, and it's always in the cut there if you need a good uh. A good fighter. That looks so cool. Yeah, great job, Crazy Z. That's nuts, dude. This is the PCV Exaggerator by Crazy Z. Ah, yeah. Love it. Wait for your prompt, dude. Wait for what now? Doom kind of jumped the gun when you uh, brought in Crazy's uh, crazy ship, so he posted what it was in chat moments before you said who. who oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. So our next. Uh... Wow, what a what a lineup coming up here! All right. So our next build is. Uh... Yeah. What, what do you want to say? It's Jay Randall. Jay Randall, and this is the Merc MX-10 SV. Ooh. Ooh. 
it's like a yeah it's like an mx5 meets an mx15 that's literally what this looks like ah yeah like he took the front of the mx5 and then he merged it with the rest of the mx15 man this looks really freaking cool Give this thing some juice here. Careful, Doom. <laughs> What's Doom saying now? He's got he's probably only played for ten hours before he made this. What an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh I love it, dude. I love the shape of it. I, I like the flat, the flat uh, tops and bottoms on it. It looks really sleek. I really like what you do with the center, kind of shaping here with the flats. I really like this. The inset to the uh, flat looks really nice. Yeah, there's some good use of the new shaping here. Look at that curve to the flat there. That looks sweet. I don't know how he does it. I really do not know how this guy pulls those shapes off. Yeah, well, you know how you could now. You could check out I, I, Jay I, Randall's I, YouTube channel and watch him build it. <laughs> I, I watch some of the videos and I, I take his stuff into creative and I get yeah. the multi-tool out. And But it, it's just plodding through all the, the shapes. You, you, you just sort of get blinded by what's there and he's got this idea defined in his head and he just throws them down. It's just amazing. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he just really works the planes. Like, you look at this plane right here. That's a, uh, you know, that's the uh, standard forty-five triangle plane, and then he he's brought it up here to a lower degree with this plane. It just it just looks so good because it's just clean, and then it meets this flat. Well, it's not even flat. It's like the lowest ramp, the new ramp. So these are the new shapes right here, I think. And he's really used them well, and then it goes yeah, off into good. this dimple, this like outer like backwards dimple I guess and yeah it just looks really good it works it sells it and it's not you know if he had done one more of this it would look weird but the fact that he's only used one it it works it's okay like the lighting doesn't look weird when it sh when it shapes it it looks like it belongs there it's really really high-end shaping here same thing over here I mean there there's a lot going on here if you study it those are a lot of different shapings that just, you know, really, really look good and work. Or he breaks up like that, you're just looking at, he, he breaks up the, the line with two slightly different colors, or that might just be reflection, but it, it still, it, it, it all adds into the experience of looking at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of new shaping here. Yeah, you know, if if you want to learn all the shapes, that this is this is what you disassemble, guys. This is what you look at and disassemble, and it's all straightforward. It's all very symmetrical. It's all you know, but it's just pleasing looking at it because there's nothing that looks bizarre and out of place here. It, you know, in, in a lot of ways, like he do, he suffers from the same thing I suffer from, but a lot less. Which like is, it's got to make sense on a, on a specific plane. But what separates him far from me is that he's able to sell a lot more uh, plane-wise, like transition-wise. He's able to sell it a lot more than I can. I, I can't achieve a lot of this stuff. The way he does the rounds to flats, um, I can't do that yet, you know? So it's like, it's, yeah. And then even the little subtle texture changes here, like he's just got this one stripe that goes across. All that plays into what you're seeing from a whole. So when you look at it, it doesn't look messy at all. It looks like all this makes sense and somebody's literally formed this entire fuselage when really it's a lot of shapes put together when it really looks like one big body. Everything that's in white right here looks like it could come apart and be like a, an entire set piece that goes over like the darker color and stuff. So um, 
you know, and that's what he does. If you watch his videos and, you know, he's got his YouTube channel, he's welcome to post it up there in the stream. Um, but he's got, you know, he'll take you step by step on how he does it. And he really just kind of works the shaping. He has an idea of what he wants it to be. And he just, you know, he's got all these tools in his head uh, with shapes that he can uh, achieve these different things. But he just, he just complexes certain parts of stuff. He'll do a basic thing and then he'll complex it. And I've tried to start doing that a lot of my builds and it's helped me a lot. Um, even when he came over and helped uh, do the cultivator with me that one stream a couple seasons back, just watching him uh, change sides of it and make, you know, make things, spice things up a bit on each side. And so I've, I've started to do that and it's really helped me out in my building. So, um, you know, we, we get, we get so comfortable with Jay Randall builds because he cranks them out every week. And, you know, we, you got to remember how how hard this is and how easy he makes it look but it's it's hard man this is high level stuff here and he makes it look so easy that i almost like take him for granted a lot <laughs> i go okay he's made something else magnificent cool you know but like you got to really appreciate what he does here i mean you go in here and there's so much room in here it's nuts everything looks cool everything looks stationed down He's got all the cool, I mean, this is it, dude. This is, you know, when you're designing a game, th this is what you want, you know? You, you want your, and that's why, you know, it's a testament to why he's got so many prefabs, because his stuff looks just, it, it covers all the bases, you know? And yeah. now he's starting to cover the, uh, the armor base to where, you know, and now with the shields, it helps it out a lot because a lot of his builds now become very playable where some of his older stuff like his SVs and stuff because he had the cockpit so far forward they weren't surviving a lot of the uh, POI strikes but now they really can so you know it's just really working to his benefit and you know as he's getting better he's he's recognized that a lot of these issues and I will say he actually started playing an alpha 10 on the XBC community server so <laughs> wow <laughs> dude <laughs> We're actually Wonders. probably going to see even better stuff from him coming up. Wonders will never cease. I was <laughs> going to point out, he's used the, the HV railings there mm -hmm. to a really good effect. I, I can never think of a way to put them into a build because they're so mm. Yeah, no, it looks good. Yeah, just, uh, what can you say, man? Ooh, crazy's on about joining the server too. Oh, it's about time, man. Let's do it. You're welcome, man. Get in here. Yeah, good amount of ammo. Yeah, this is another cockpit where it's like, you could really go first person with this. Let's do it. Did I regenerate? Yeah, I did. This cockpit's great for, for first person flying for Done. sure. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it performs exceedingly well. Like, it, you know, he shares my RCS need. Like, I need RCS. Like, he's even a little worse than me, but, like, I love my RCS, man. 
<laughs> Let that thing move like a feather. I'm completely cool with it. Like, I'm totally good with it. Dark snuff. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, these guys are, are, are the top. We happen to have got a group of some of the top guys on, on the workshop here. Um, so you, you the likes of Jay Randall, um, Crazy Z, some of the other ones following. Everybody looks up to their builds. Everyone's used Jay Randall's Scarab HST from what I can gather in game as well. Going back to like Alpha 7, Alpha 6. So yeah, they, they've been around for a long while. Just just take your time and, and build up, man. Yeah, and I'll say too. I mean, what I love about this challenge is that um, there's been there's been a couple times where you know new designers and people that I've never heard of have outperformed you know Jay Randall or Crazy Z or um, you know other designers and stuff. And it's just a you know it's a testament to it's a testament to the workshop and how unbalanced it is not to say that jay randall isn't you know one of the best designers in the game obviously i'm not saying that he doesn't deserve the position he's in in the workshop being the highest followed designer in the game right but at the same time you've got a lot of people that nobody knows about um you know i would say like uh you know take like dumpster juice from the first uh the first designers challenge he came out with this crazy sv that just blew my mind and I've never heard of this guy, and I went to his workshop, he had no followers, and you're like, where is this guy from? Um, Salustacor would be another example. He just came out of nowhere with this crazy CV, and I was like, wow, who is this guy, you know? So what this Designer's Challenge does is it gives designers a chance to to literally build and, and you know, build amongst their peers and build against, you know, high-end designers and new designers and you know, as long as you're meeting the goal, which I give you guys a goal every month, and as long as you're achieving that goal, it's a success. And then really you're just, you know, all month long you're in the Discord, you're talking with other designers, you're showing your work in progress, and you're seeing what they're doing against what you're doing, and it makes you a better designer. And um, I could tell you after six months of this, which next month will be our sixth month, um, I've seen everybody leaps and bounds get better and better at designing um you know and that's including jay randall but you know that's sticks that's the tactician that's you know all, all you guys are just getting you know a lot better so that, that's what it's all about it's we're, we're a community and um we enjoy building and designing and um i i really don't like the way the workshop is i don't you know everybody's upset right now about downvotes and stuff so this is a different outlet for us to all design and enjoy designing and build for each other and i said it before i build for the community now i don't build for the workshop anymore i put stuff on the workshop i know that i have followers people that enjoy my stuff that aren't in the community and that's fine but i don't build to worry about down votes or up votes or any of that stuff. I build for you guys. And a lot of times I'm not even putting stuff on the workshop anymore because you guys have seen it. I've built it with you in the in the Anvil episodes and stuff. So, you know, you guys have seen it and I'm happy with that. And if you guys like it and, you know, if I feel like it's okay to use in the game, I'll put it out. And even if not, I end up giving it to you guys as a direct blueprint on the Discord and let you guys mess with it because... Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm really over the workshop at this point. I'm good. I, I don't need the workshop. I'm, I'm happy with the community and what you guys are, uh, you know, are achieving with these builds. So long rant. Sorry. But but just to say, you know, don't get don't get frustrated with, you know, a lot of these top designers and stuff, because really, they're just, you know, our, our creativity is all pretty much the same. We all like sci fi. We all like different things. We can all see really cool pictures in our heads. It's getting the blocks to translate that creativity into the game is what we're all practicing at. So, so yeah. Without further, uh, without any further compliment, this is Jay Reynolds Merc MX10. Yeah, one probably. Uh, uh, I'd say probably just about my favorite SV you've done thus far, man. It's beautiful. It, it's a work of art, dude. Great work. Still love a Shimera. <laughs> MX15, yeah. I 
All right, guys. So this brings us to another uh, pretty well-known designer. He's probably in bed by now. Yeah, it's past his bedtime. That's all right. We're still gonna show it. This is uh, this is Spanch. This is the Archer HV assault vehicle. Did uh, try to uh, give him a shout on his channel. But, and I can see him in chat if I use the at to call on him, but I don't know whether he's here. Now, eh, Spanch isn't the best at following directions, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this HV turret, because it's, it's supposed to be an unlock level 15, so there we go, now we're at 15. <laughs> Most of you have probably seen this built in uh, Chillin' and Building with Spanch on his uh twitch if you haven't he he does uh stream his uh builds and you can check it out on twitch you can also check him out on youtube obviously um oh neat yeah thanks for that follow there hands of stalin appreciate that yeah so it's an hv what do you want it looks like a uh it kind of looks froggy am i right How do you get in this thing? Do you get in this thing? Oh, yeah, you do get in this thing on the side here. Yeah, that back's cool. Spanch has definitely gotten a lot better. And again, that's a testament to uh, really the community. It's, it's a testament to builders kind of forming a bit, you know, collectively and, and yeah, just really learning off of people's designs and stuff. We're all using the same tools, you know? We're all using the same blocks. We're just making them do different things. So when you watch other people do it, you learn to do it, and then you just get better and better at it. So yeah, this is kind of a no-nonsense, uh, straight-up attack attack designer. Two fridges. Gotta have two fridges. Clone chamber, med station. You got all the goodies here. I love that. Man, I love that flat ventilator, dude. That's just so cool. Got a lot of freaking armor in the front here. Definitely POI buster-ish. Let's give it some juice. Let's see. 3,200. All right, let's see if uh, Spanj did his work. Yeah, no. Damn it, Spanj. All right. Um, let's see. Take those off. Take that off. Ooh, couple of RCS added at the last minute. Ungrouped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you did there. That is true, and honestly, I'm about to grab a beer right after the Spanish demo here. Yeah, we're at build 17, so it's pretty much uh, towards the back end of the, 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 the run. Mm, your move's really nice. Oh, 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 might have been greedy. Might have been greedy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What was I doing? Kill it all!
I'm kind of looking like were the plasma turrets blocked or something? Like they weren't really, they were stalled off. Oh yeah, oh, I didn't put the shield on it. Yeah, I didn't need it. It really didn't. This thing's OP as hell. I may have to go up against this thing pretty soon here in Evolution. Oh, the twig. Not the twig. Oh, it surpassed the twig. Look at that. Let's look at that because I'm not sure. No, they're not blocked. I, I don't know why I did that. That was weird. It could have been. Yeah, it could have been a case where it just didn't see it. Because remember, so now that this is here, um, it's literally. It's literally that, right? So that means, you know, if it's here, it's not going to, uh, you know. It's not gonna see it until you know. So you would have to kind of arch forward. So it's really a thing, and I I, I really wish it was something that they'd fix with the deco, because the deco is so cool. But you really have to count it as a whole block. You have to count any blocks as whole blocks when it comes to uh, line of sight. So it's it's a little frustrating. And it, like even these right here are you know full blocks. So just just pay that. Pay that in mind when you uh, when you design as far as your turrets go with HVs. Yeah, it's cool. He's got them underneath here too. That's really smart for like ground troops and stuff. <laughs> all right, drifter. <laughs> yeah, the glass definitely took a hit, but he still got all this here, right? So yeah, it wasn't gonna get me. Awesome, man. This is by Spange, and this is the Archer HB Assault Vehicle. Definitely check that out on the workshop. Grab it. Give him a like. Give him a follow. That was built in the Foundry Creative Server, which, uh, yeah, you guys have access to that. As long as you're a sub or a Patreon supporter to either myself or Spange, you can gain access to that, uh, Creative server and build alongside us. All right, guys, we are we are getting down there. We're on number nineteen, and I I think I am gonna grab that beer real quick. So if you guys give me about thirty seconds, I will be right back. <laughs> 